Hello, people. You know when I want to jeez, I always want the mood to be right, and I hope I did that. Okay, before we get right into the topic of today, it was just a discussion between me and my brother. Yes, why this topic? And we we were trying to classify what is wrong and what is foolish, what is right and what is wise. Before we get right into it... You're welcome to another amazing episode on EWL Podcast. Don't forget that this podcast is a platform for you to be expressive and a reality check. I'm your host, Emitez Theology Gloria. And our topic today is foolish versus wrong, wise versus right. So we came up with this thing after a lot of banter and a lot of discussion. Because we were like, what is really foolish and what is really wrong? And through our own knowledge, we came up with this and say, not all foolish behaviors are wrong behaviors. And all foolish behaviors, all wrong behaviors are foolish behaviors. Then we said again, not all wise behaviors are right behaviors. But all right behaviors are wise behaviors. It's really, it's really vast, I know. It was just a story of, okay, one of my closest relatives, uh, the person was about to get married. And if, if you checked how we started our relationship, my mom has always been there for the person. So at a point where the person wanted to get married, my mom was not like invited for the wedding. And it was a question thrown at me and, and the, we we're just having a discussion. I'm like, is he, is he right? Was he a wrong decision? Was he a wrong behavior? Or was it just a foolish act? Probably out of ignorance. Does that really make it a wrong decision? Does that really make it a wrong behavior? Like this topic is deep. I know, right? I'm just going around circles, but I hope at the end of this topic, we'll be able to pass our message across. So my point here is, how do we define what foolish behaviors are? And how do we define what a wrong be uh, how do we define what wrong behaviors are? Then how do we define what is right and what is wrong, what is foolish and what is wise? Yes, I think I'm going, I'm staring it up. So in the process of us defining, people really just act foolish, not because they think they are making like the wrong decision or just not because they think that they are behaving foolish or they are behaving in the wrong way. Foolishness a lot of time comes out from lack of awareness. Hence, foolishness is as a result of ignorance. And a lot of us have pulled different foolish um, behaviors and different stunts in our own different ways. So because say people know they highlight your foolishness, let me say you have not been foolish once in your life. You get what I'm saying? So we are saying, at what point do we define a foolish behavior as a wrong behavior? And at what point do we define a wise decision, a wise behavior as a right behavior? Because sometimes people can be wise, but that does not necessarily mean the decision on the behavior they executed is right. Yeah, that is the message. I think I'm, I'm coming to it. So we're using, as usual, we always like to reference the Bible. So I want to honestly get you guys' opinion. So if for the story of the ten virgins, the one that went to thank God after God has healed her and she went to say, um, Papa, thank you, she was defined as a wise virgin. Then the other people that did not go to thank God after they've been made whole, they were defined as foolish virgins but now the question is do you think being foolish means you are automatically wrong because genuinely foolishness a lot of times is as a result of ignorance and sometimes ignorant behavior even in as much as the law do not do not recognize ignorance as a grounds for you to commit offense but we can all agree that when you are not aware of something it becomes difficult to define what is right and what is wrong. Does that make sense? So our expectations of people sometimes, when people um, annoy us or when people step on our toes or when people do not do right by us and we assume that, oh, this person has offended me, this person has wronged me. I, don't, I, don't, I think you're giving people a lot of power when you say, oh, you've wronged me, when 
in real sense of it, it is just them being foolish. It is just them being not aware. It is just them being ignorant of the situation. They don't know better because I believe if they knew better, those decisions or those behaviors would not even be a thing that they would want to portray or they would want to make. Does that make sense? So on today's banter, the gist of today is I want to know your opinion. What do you think about foolish behaviors? What do you think about wrong behaviors? How do we categorize such behaviors? Because sincerely, I don't think all foolish behaviors are wrong behaviors. People do not just know what it is. People are not just aware of what the situation is. And at the same time, in as much as you make the best decision or you make the wisest decision, that does not mean that the decision or the wise decision you made is right. So we can, as we can all classify all right behaviors as being wise behaviors. But all wise behaviors cannot be classified i don't think it can be classified as right behaviors so when do we draw the line how do we differentiate such behaviors so looking at our dictionary when we try to differentiate it the dictionary describes wrong as not true or incorrect the second definition for wrong is unjust dishonest and immoral and when you even go to the verb it's still the same thing. It's just incorrect. So, incorrect, not important. So, let's check the dictionary when you're foolish. Because I'm trying to make do with what I have. What is being lacking good sense of judgment, unwise, and uh, it's not credible. So, really, I just feel like defining wrong and foolish i think they are two separate things i think that is the, what i'm trying to say that people just act because they do not know they do not know what they don't know any other way to act if that makes sense if that makes sense people just act based on their own knowledge so the fact they are acting on that i don't think it should be a thing of oh you are wrong oh you are right does that make sense so we're trying to define people's character we're trying to define people's behavior is it a wrong behavior is it a foolish behavior that's what we're trying to categorize here is it a wise behavior or is it a right is it a wise behavior or is it a wise behavior so i will this would be really interest if you guys interact with me and tell me what you think about what i just said the way we place them simultaneously because a lot of times truly why i'm saying this because a lot of times when i try to explain to my mom that a lot of things that people do it was going to get us angry. We're going to get uh, we're going to get upset about different things, but the the most important thing is to know if we are wasting our energy on things that do not matter, because people would would hurt you knowing fully whether they hurt you, but in the real sense of things, there are people that not, they are not even aware of their behaviors. I think I spoke about ignorance when I actually highlighted this and said people do not, and I said people do not really know that they have offended you or they have done wrong to you or they have hurt you in uh, in knowingly and unknowingly it's just because they don't know better they are acting there's a, there's a word we use in our house sometimes when we want to describe people they are acting according to how their sense reach it, uh, there's how they speak it in evil like the person is acting according to how his understanding or his his mind works and that's where you where where low mentality comes in you understand what i'm saying i'm getting the strategy because i'm trying to really understand then i'm trying to go for the part of wise behaviors to trying to categorize wise and right behavior that is what we're trying to do before we round up so the dictionary describes wise as having or showing experience having knowledge having a good judgment it said being sensible or prudent so yeah exactly what i'm saying i don't think we should group we should group wiser and because really it was really a full-blown discussion when i was having the discussion with my siblings someone asking sometimes is it right or is it wrong and i'm just of the opinion that you cannot just group it as being wise or being wrong or being right you just have to like categorize them where they where they are meant to be because really who defines what is right or wrong you just have to make better judgment you have to make better decision you have to know better and that is why ignorance is not something that we 
everybody in this world would, would encourage because ignorance creates a lot of gaps. It creates a lot of space for nonchalant and nasty behavior, I would say myself personally. So engage on this topic on Anchor, Spotify, and on YouTube. Tell us what you think and how do you categorize right or wise behaviors or decisions wrong or foolish behavior or decisions how do you categorize it and how do you draw your judgment generally because truly again i'm going to say and i state i don't think foolish or foolish behaviors can be grouped as wrong behaviors but all wrong behaviors can definitely be grouped as foolish behaviors again i say not all wise behaviors are right behaviors but then i say all right behaviors are wise behaviors or wise decisions whatever adjective you want to use or adverb you want to use so that is a wrap on today's stuffy <laughs> ah i said i had just that is just too because the arguments will be here so i want to throw it out there to my audience okay guys don't forget to please subscribe to my youtube channel we have not been doing a lot on our vlog section because baby girl has just been distracted with a lot of things. We hope to start again. Please engage on this topic. I really, really want to get your two cents on this topic. Because it really bothered me. Yeah. Okay, guys. Don't forget to follow me across all social media platforms. At AluchimiTZ on Instagram, on Facebook, and on X formerly Twitter. We also have a podcast page on Instagram. EWR underscore podcast. Like I always say, let's spread love because God is love. Love is God. Have an amazing week. And for those of my Sabbatarians audience, I am yet to wish you guys a happy Feast of Tabernacle in advance. And I pray that God will keep us and elevate us and cover us god is going to do great things in our life for those of us that are attending the feast we pray that god grant us journey mercy to the feast to and fro on that note i love you take care bye <laughs>